All right, here we go. There we go. <laughs> my stream came up one second before I wanted to clap. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. My name is Biendo, and I hope that you are enjoying the stream. Thanks for watching. See ya. Nah. Today is the, uh, the 11th of June. No, the 11th of July, 2022. The 7-11 day in the US, or 11-7 day here. I don't know which day they celebrate 7-11 day, whether it's in November or... I think they do both. 7-11... Um, I don't even know what the store is... Why the store is called 7-11. It's very bizarre um, day, but... And uh, I hope you all are having a wonderful week. I've been having a pretty chill week. It's been pretty good. I shall start up the game, because I think I should probably start up the game. Uh, I love how I type TP, and TP is a command, apparently. But the game, the full game, is called Theme Park World. So, let's dive right into it. Here we go. Theme Park World. Um, but yeah, no, today's, today's been a pretty good day. We had a, a good race in the F1. And yeah, no, the past week has been pretty alright, except it's been a little, uh, warm. Here's a new intro. I don't know what picks the intro. It seems to be very dependent on the day that I'm streaming. But I actually don't mind that, so... How many, how many theme parks do people legitimately, like, wave knives around? At least... At least, like, sharp enough knives to cut rope. Oh my gosh. He's very dead. He's very dead. Uh, so, yeah, so in the last stream, I played the first park in the game, and I feel like now is a good opportunity to let's just do the next park. Welcome. Don't I, know I, you? I don't know why the intro always bugs out like that. Before. Um, you, you may remember from the last, button, uh, stream, the last stream that the game kind of bugged out. The graphics bugged out about halfway through the stream, <laughs> gave everyone seizures for three minutes. Thought that was pretty fair, you know, you all deserved it apparently. Uh, but nah, um, interestingly, I, in the, on the next day, I was like, okay, I need to take a screenshot for the thumbnail, and the game would never last more than two seconds in the park without completely breaking on me. So, I did a bit of researching, and I found out that my DG Voodoo settings were not quite correct. I had to set the specific graphics card in DG Voodoo to be a 5700 GT. That, that's the device it's emulating. Not the best device, not the 9700 uh, X something, there's something at the bottom, and not the the default dummy DG Voodoo device, it had to be the 5700 GT, so if you're playing this game, make note, that's how you chuck it with DG Voodoo. It looks pretty much almost the same, Click in the gate of the part you want to start other than I've got emails apparently. Oh, I, I put postcards in, oh, I accidentally made a postcard and uh, yeah, um, but I've got two keys. I think I'm one golden ticket away from another key. So I think I'll definitely have enough golden tickets to get... I guess you only need, you know, you already have one key. You need six golden tickets total for Wonderland. You're going to need 12 golden tickets for the Space Zone because you already start with one key. Uh, but in this stream, I'll be handling the Halloween world where... And, and again, you can decide what kind of dumb names I'm coming up with. Uh, for all my stuff. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. <laughs> <clears throat> Pretty scary, eh? Welcome to Halloween World. Guaranteed to thrill you to the bone. You want to see something really scary? Boom. I, I, I don't know what's going on there, but uh, yes, this is Halloween World where things this are scary you and you are gonna cough, you're gonna clear your jaw every time. You By the way, I love how I completely park. glanced or just forgot that buy land is just in this menu. So click if you wanna if you wanna buy land, you just to buy an area of land, you just pick that. <laughs> this is where you can buy stuff to build in your park. And uh, <clears throat> clear land is uh, you could hit delete, but <clears throat> as in that's the button. I think backspace also works, but uh, yeah, no, so. Pretty much, it's the same deal, just a new park. I've already got another mystery or, or golden ticket for the mystery ride, but uh, we'll save it for a little bit. The blueprint to, <clears throat> to build the cube. <clears throat> See the uh, but other than that, let's the just slam these parks, screen. these rides the in. Do a bunch of different things. 
Click them and I've got these interesting more. rides to start that off, meter on the left but all start pretty normally, and it looks that. a bit if funky, doesn't it? Visitors, that is. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna have a bit of a queue below me, so I want to make sure that I've got the queue going mm. up north like that. To build this is just mm. my like weird way of making things like work out. Uh, oops. You have a queue that isn't connected to a path. Visitors can't get to it. My, my OCD of the things being nice and organized, just imagine it's organized. First you move the this ride is massive, by the way, this one. I remember this one being just it's, it's huge. Um, so those are the four rides. We've got Insecticide, we've got Jaw Dropper, Putrid Pumpkins, and Tentacle, Tow Ter oh, the Tentacle Terror. So there's that. Uh, let's kick in with the uh, sideshows. Some First of these you might, the might look very similar to the other ones um, <clears throat> in the last park. The rides are different for the most part, but yeah, there may be a little you move the couple of similarities here and there. Um, and yeah, they're, like every park kind of is the same deal. You're even going to have the same variety of shops going on. So we've got the burger shop, the drinks shop. Oops, sorry, hey, my bad. You know I gotta move it. Park world do you tickets? do you know about the theme park world golden ticket? That, that is a terrible, cool like terrible rides. interpretation of his Thank accent. I apologize to whoever does the accent here. You can earn golden tickets by doing. I don't know what's with things, the whole like getting loads of visitors. The crosswalks here. Um, gonna need a staff room. We'll chuck it on the other side. Didn't I do this exact like layout where I put the shops in the bottom right and then the? If you're curious about a button or icon. Just point at it with a cursor uh, and, and then out toilet the that appears at the bottom of check the screen. Check a toilet there. Security camera. I don't know. Check a camera here. Litter bin definitely next to the shops. And the rest of these are sideshows. So we'll get onto that in a bit. This Let's have a guy. People want to come in, but your park is closed. You Let's should think about guy. opening up. I shall open up right now. Wah. There you go. Hello, everybody. This is where you come to get staff. <clears throat> uh, the entertainers this time are like hunchbacks. Might be some other ones later this is on. Where you <clears throat> and chuck a couple, well, one scientist, I guess, who I shall now destroy. This is where you discover new stuff to build. Dragging it seems like I could build, I could research everything so else and then not have enough money for the rides you know. uh, last time. So we'll see how well I go this time around, but already already in the toilet no one is even waiting you are dead set getting into that toilet let's chuck another one people probably want a second toilet that is crazy that is crazy that they're going straight for the toilets uh yeah but you know this week's been pretty all right in um my personal world i don't, I don't really talk like crazy personal things but uh you know like i, I caught up with some mates uh, got some, learned some stuff about certain things. Oh, I guess I could build the, uh, the bonus ride while we're at it. The mystery ride. Let's do it. I don't actually think this is, this is just the tour ride again. This is the same thing as pterodactyl stuff. There you go, except it's a blimp. Uh, this is the night flight mare tours. So there you go. Jaw Dropper is probably the coolest ride out of this, although Insecticide totally looks like it would kill people. I don't know, man. The thing goes upside down. But like, look at Jaw Dropper. He goes down, he picks his jaw back up, and he's like, <laughs> and it goes right down into a pit. That's cool. Um, tentacle Terra legit looks pretty, like, standard. There's a tentacle that comes out occasionally, I think. Maybe. Uh, these are just pumpkins, they spin around. Where are you even? Whoops. Whoops. Wrong one. If anyone wrote that, they'd be very upset that I just did that. I don't know what- Oh, you're in the pumpkin like that. Okay. <laughs> that ride's going around, so... There you go. Uh, let's see if there's another scientist. There we go, two more. I feel like, I, again, I burned all my budget on scientists. I should have really, like, been looking at my- My levels. <clears throat> Um, this screen lists <clears throat> last time, but you know, uh, other than that, it's more of the same. I don't really have to explain mechanics, but uh, definitely, I think we'll we'll do the same kind of trek. We'll do three and a half years of in-game time, so we'll finish July twenty twenty or two thousand three twenty oh three. Look at all these people already showing up. Maybe I should have raised my 
my prices. Visitors find your ticket prices Okay, very thanks for cheap. telling me exactly what I was just saying. Them. We'll give it 40 and we'll see if anyone's turning back. This Pokemon person's walking back. Is it because they're done? But they're, they're all good. Oh, they want food and drink. Well, just go here, man. You didn't see it. Okay, all these people are happy about it, so that's all good. I do have one rant topic, though. I think people have been longing for a bit of a rant or a part on video games. Um, so I might as well... Uh, I'll save the rant topic for a little bit. Um, just kind of keep going on about uh, this theme for a little bit. But uh, yeah, I like this idea of the Halloween theme. Because Halloween, legit, like... I always find, like, you got Halloween, you got Christmas. They're like the two big holidays that, you know... Oh, and Easter. Easter's a weird one, because, like, there's a... Well, I guess both Easter and Christmas are religious, whereas, like, Halloween, like... Yeah, there's a degree of... Re is, is there religion? There, there is, like, a... Like, there's a Saint... Like, Hallow's Eve. There's a... Ha I don't know. I've completely forgotten. What's the actual, like... Element of Halloween... That is, uh... That is used. It's just Let's chuck him in. Let's just completely go at it. This is where you discover new stuff to build. Uh, and then let's chuck some features in there because I feel like he'll comment on the lack of features. Let's chuck a gravestone in. Uh, you may be wondering what the gravestone says. Of course, it says rip. It's got a wreath. Why not? That's cool. Let's put a bush in. Whoa, good spot for a bush right there. And then, tiny rock. Put the tiny rock in the other side. There we go. And a tree stump. Everyone likes spooky tree stumps. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, wait, hang on. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Ah, ah that's, that's good, too. Good. Uh, yeah, I, I really like... I really dig the Halloween aesthetic. And I, I, to be honest, out of the two park concepts, I really like... You know, a grassy land is the least intimidating one, so I understand why they went with the dinosaur world to start off. Um, but the Halloween one, I feel like is also pretty neat. Because I'm, I'm a bit of a sucker for, like, Halloween-related things. There's so many, like, cool, like, things. You built all of the available features. Maybe you should research some I more. I am researching more, thank you very much. Um, but there's so many cool things related to... The visitors think your ticket oh, price really? is steal. Have you thought of raising it? Because they were really, like, upset about, like, going above $50 last time. The buzz about your park has started to die down. You might put in a new ride. That always attracts they look like they're getting through. for a while. They look like they're getting through at 54 so I'll take 54 That's a good one. Oh, my gosh. What? You are oh. so close to winning a golden ticket. <laughs> oh, my God. So there are so many people, and it's only you been three months. More, it's only been three months. I'm amazed. Good as years. So, I'm amazed it's been three months and just they've gone, they've gone ham like that, but sure. Wah. Again, it, this is the same puzzle, there's just a different design on it. Um, but it legitimately looks the same. This is a fortune teller, which I don't even know what detail. you're winning in a fortune teller, but sure, okay. Okay. Um, and I guess I gotta call the park a different name, can't I? Uh... To adjust the ticket price, or you can click the button at the bottom to open Spooky up the weens. park. To Spooky weens. <clears throat> Spooky weens. I don't know. <laughs> I'll come up with better names later on. Um, again, I like the way that the music like develops. You got this nice theme. Do 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 do. Do 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 ding ding. It's, it's a nice theme. And it's got all these like weird little side motifs going on. But it definitely builds up into something really cool. And I like, I, again, I love the way that the soundtrack works. Um. It's a fun, whimsical, but definitely Halloween themed, like, kind of song as well. Like, it doesn't make you feel actually, like, worried, but just like, you know, oh, it's, it's a bit spooky for a park, you know? I don't know how to really describe it, but you know what I mean? It's like, you can get some very dramatic, 
um, kinds of uh, kinds of chords going on uh, in in some spooky music, and and uh, I think it's because it's very like built on that minor tonality, and it's it's I mean it's very melody driven. It's like two voices right now. So, I think that's probably how it works in being a bit whimsical, where it's like a lot of other, like, spooky kinds of music. Oh my gosh, here's some more people. I am getting that ticket very soon, aren't I? Um, usually get a lot more of the, the ambient kinds of, oh. This is what I mean, like, some people are going to be kind of upset. You can use the... <clears throat> Okay, we'll go to 52. Oh my gosh. You're telling me you again. so close to winning a golden ticket. Forget Am I actually so having people defect? If you can just squeeze in a few more, the ticket is as good as yours. You'd think that, like, perhaps you'd have to, like, dip prices in order to get this you ticket. A golden ticket and got a golden key to boot. Now you can open a new park whenever you want to. There you go. So, there you go. I can start the Wonderland Park if I really wanted to. Eureka. We've discovered a and I've got an upgrade for Jaw Dropper. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Uh, ah, let's let's chuck an upgrade at that. Give the mechanic a hard time. I think maybe I should buy another mechanic. I don't know how many rides you particularly need in order to split mechanics, but sure. Oh, there's some puke noises here and there. Let's we'll see how things are going over time. This screen shows all kinds of information about your park and its visitors. I would appreciate fewer tutorials from this guy. He, do, he just keeps going. Um, is this another? Is that another shipment of people? Or is that just like the original one? Like just come down to pick some people up? Okay. Why is it a... Uh, piccolo colored, you know? <laughs> oh. And there it goes. It's the same kind of entrance, I guess that's your one catch between the parks, is that like, outside the park looks exactly the same, and to some degree, inside the park also looks the same. You get a bit of a different area going on, it stretches out to the left. This time, you've got your, your hills, um, actually leak in a little bit. So, uh, like this is higher up over here than down there, and you can't build a path that goes over the cliff, but eh, generally it's not like... It's not an issue, and granted, you didn't even see me, like, build out. Um, just because you you've got enough... I don't, know, I don't think there's enough time to build into the space just right away. But that's okay. Uh, oh, this guy's a bit tired, though. A new feature has been researched. And they've researched a small Why? rock. Even the features have new features. Wait, what? Oh, that was a tiny rock I had earlier. The small rock's the same size as the tiny rock, so... Chuck it there. Call it that. These people are very terrified on those pumpkins, aren't they? Jeez. I don't even know, man. Uh. I love this, like, little, little funky, funky organ on the side. If you can hear it over the screams. Again, just lots of little fun motifs that keep kicking in here and there. It's good fun. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm just going to keep gushing about this game. That seems to be my only my only thing I'm going to be doing. So, uh, but, uh, you know what I mean? Oh, that's the tentacle. This is sort of a hot moment. I feel like there's, like, some people and that tentacle does not come out for them. Like, this guy's going around, he's about to come around, and then the tentacle's gone. At least with the pumpkins, it's consistent. And then they all get off. And they have a little dance and call it a day. Here's a hint. If you get a good number of people into this park, you could win a golden ticket. You've already given me a golden ticket for having a good number of people in this park. I don't know. Man, this guy's not on it. Look at all these researchers up. What is he entertaining to? What is this guy entertaining to? Matthew Whitten. You can find out what are you doing? Employees on this screen. Alright, let's uh, let's double check the state of repair. We're doing okay. We're doing okay for the moment. Oh, I, I couldn't even get over it last stream, just how many times things needed, like, manual attention for whether they were breaking. Uh, you may be wondering, I guess, how this ride looks when you're on it. It goes up and then, uh, it just drops. There you go, you're in the pits. Here you go back up. 
Look at this. They, they're screaming so much. Oh. <laughs> Granted, I guess all the people in the back just like... There's back of the neck like... The <laughs> gets rubbed against... The on the case and rubbed against the, the spine. Alright, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna... Oh, do I chuck another scientist at it? Let's do it. Let's speed it up a little bit. This is where... <clears throat> I, oh, yeah, forgot to train them. This screen. <clears throat> Which, uh, this money screen. You <laughs> Chuck it at this. The cash in isn't particularly, uh, kind to me. Actually, I guess here's a question. What's the money flow? This screen shows information about so, here's money in, here's money out. Above and beside money out's not too bad right now, but then, yeah, how much does stuff cost? Nearly half of it. Click the buttons on the right side of the panel. So what's the <clears throat> Do you want to know the cost other costs? Most what? out of your employees. Give them some direction. Try Maybe that's monthly because this screen is now the screen is also monthly. Who knows? This screen shows information about your finances. Who knows? <laughs> oh well. I've still got a healthy amount of money, and uh, the loan wasn't too bad last time. It was a little bad, but not too bad. The toilets are getting dirty. I didn't I didn't buy an actual uh cleaner extra cleaner. Have him pop in. Uh he's pooping in. All right, so you are in charge of just this for the moment. It looks like you want to set this which is a lot. <clears throat> well, the workers all seem very happy. Keep it up and you'll avoid strikes. Ah, uh, yes, avoiding strikes. My favorite. It looks like you want to I was going to say, like, I got very caught out this week um, by the the train strikes the here in Sydney. Uh, train workers are very not happy and they decided to um, run with a reduced schedule. Uh, trains will be running slower, which I thought was very odd. I was like, man, you think you want to get home? Oh, my goodness. Ooh, this toilet is a real toilet. Click on the call cleaner button. There you go. It's like a ride. You gotta repair the toilet. Just tell people to not go in that. You Bins you don't have to fix. With so many of the toilets closed, there's just one enough to keep the visitors happy. I uh, granted there is also Dry. one toilet left, so fair point. To be honest, I never know how many I'd toilets is a good actually a like needed in this game, like legitimately. I, I, I know some people and they're just like toilet spam and I'm like do you, do you really have to toilet spam? Maybe. What is this sound? <laughs> they all throwing up outside the fry shop? Why? Oh wait that's not that's not where I want that. There you go. Look at all those cash register sounds those transactions. Whatever happened to the good old days of electronic machines making noises for the sake of it? Like computers having uh, speakers and then like a little beep of be uh, buzzers. Which you can still get, but I'm just surprised that like, you know, you don't get them as often. They don't make them like they used to. he cleaned the toilet. I guess. <laughs> no one really goes over here, so I think the other cleaner's probably got a good time. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh wait. Oh wait, hang on. With research the They've new researched ride. a new upgrade. ride upgrade. Oh, that's good there you go. Uh good thing, because it needed a repair almost. Wow, they're really screaming, aren't they? I guess it's the horror park. Kinda makes sense as well. But yeah, as uh, as uh, we hit the, I guess, the kind of beginning of July, it's not the very beginning, but, you know, we're past the Steam summer sale. It's no longer summer in the US, it's just regular time, so no more sales until probably various publisher sales and then a general Halloween sale, which is not for another three and a half months. Uh, what shall we do in that time? Um, I'm pretty sure we got Australian Labor Day somewhere in the mix. So, there is that. And, I keep mentioning it, it's like, oh, it's the end of the financial year, but like, what actually is that? Oh, really? 
they hate the ticket prices more later on. So I have to dip them by two bucks. Because I guess here's my problem. If I don't satisfy many people coming in, then they're going to be upset. And I get no money. You know, a feature. And I just keep researching just larger size rocks. Powder my nose, or let's sit down on this feature and take a load of. <laughs> just get larger size rocks. There you go, larger rocks. Um, but I hope you all got the games that you wanted to get in your Steam sale or any other kinds of sales because there are more places to buy video games than just Steam, such as the accursed one that we don't mention, G2A. I don't have any gripes against- oh, punch my mic. I don't have any gripes with G2A, I just know that like some people really hate him, because it is a third party key reseller, sure. Um, but it's also like, I don't know, like I've personally not been caught out by them. They sound like they've got good policies, but you can never really attest to them until you've seen them firsthand. Uh, but then it's also just like, well, I mean, I've not bought anything that's not worked from G2A so far, so... I'd say it's okay for the moment. There's probably some really, really shading ones out there. Um, but, I don't know, I feel like all key research. Another research? You haven't researched Brain Buster. You've gone to the rounds. Research all of these other ones. Man, what do I pay these guys for? They're researching Strength Skull. Like... I mean, the bar's going. The bar is going. They're taking their time, though. They're taking their sweet time. They'll get faster as, like, you know, there's no more upgrades or no more rides or whatever. Um, so it's not like you're wasting time. It's more just like, well, do you want to prioritize a, a sideshow or what? I feel like just evenly prioritizing, or evenly doing all of them works out because it's like, well, you need to get all these researchers in to improve the reliability and the fun of your rides. And then, like, the shops, well, they're nice to have sooner than later. The features and the sideshows, it's like, well, I mean, you're gonna be researching all of them anyways. So you might as well. There's not too many sideshows anyways. I think there's like six or seven. You can view ha ha, ha all these losers. The on the screen. Move the to uh, oh, is there any right this to start the break? All the things yeah, okay, for the moment. Park. Cool, eh? <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so the reason why I mentioned the Steam sale is... Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> this is my rant topic of the day. Uh, so Ubisoft announced, um, a couple of weeks back, that they are discontinuing the support for various games, uh, that have DLCs, or online features. They're basically cutting the servers for those online serv uh, features and DLC activations. Now, DLC activation sounds a bit more charged of a term. And yeah, it is a bit more charged, because what... A DLC activation is something that you have explicitly bought and suddenly now they're going it doesn't work anymore so your video game license is temporary the thing that you buy may not work forever now I guess that works in in regard to like a um, you know a multiplayer type no, sorry let me step back it makes sense in a multiplayer title if no one else plays the multiplayer title, well, obviously, the actual value that you get out of the product is much less than if the game was very, very popular. I think that if I played... Um, all of the I features. am researching this. If I played... Um, oh, I mean, I mean like, uh, like, I played Overwatch when it first came out, and I played it for, like, a fair bit for, like, a couple of years. And, uh, and I really did enjoy that game. Um, I don't know what the play count is now. It's probably not too bad, actually, right now. But, uh, what was it? I think I remember another game, and it was just like, you couldn't get into a match with any- Actually, Overwatch is still kind of like that now, isn't it? You couldn't get into a match with people very quickly. It suddenly started taking way too long. And so, my value- my perceived value of the game went down. So, I can understand online mechanics really throwing off how much value you actually find out of a game. Now, when it comes to single-player games, it shouldn't matter at all whether there is a machine there authorizing you to play the game or not. And in fact, actually, a lot of games may be games that are multiplayer with single-player elements. I think that there's something, you know, lost if you get rid of other people at the park. Where am I getting my money from? Who knows? I feel like there's something lost if you're a game publisher and you just abandon a game like that. 
There are so many games out there where it's like, you know, people worked the hard to create this. Here we go. New ride, by the way. Brain Buster. It's actually, it's another bouncy castle. It functions the same as... Have discovered a new side show. Okay, it's not a cure for a nasty disease, but it's something. It's something. <laughs> Brain Buster. It's it's the same as the Dino a Bounce. Set of side shows, a new frontier it's just... <laughs> oh, it bleeds as well. It bleeds. Oh, this is a kid's game. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. I love it. Uh, strength Skull. This is uh, a strength game. You probably know exactly how this one works. <laughs> I love the, the skull with the eyes, though. It looks excellent. What are we going to call it? Peter Jackson... <laughs> Brain Dead. There you go. Watch that film if you haven't. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you. Peter Jackson Brain Dead. It's wonderful. Uh, so... Yeah, there's something a bit lost if, if a game that people worked hard on creating ceases to exist. It kind of speaks to this overly corporate nature of video games if, you know, there's these things... I'm not necessarily saying all games are art, because games are supposed to be just fun experiences for the most part. A lot of them will spice it up by having some artistic appeal to them, but eh, I mean, you know... Video games are a piece of media, sure. That being said, it's like, it's a shame to work on something, to create something, and then for your legacy to effectively go away. <laughs> Not the sound as well. Um, they, for example, a game like this, it's like, yeah, like, it's nowhere to be found. You cannot buy this game anywhere. I think you can still buy the original Theme Park, and I think Theme Hospital as well, which is the half follow-up game that they had. Um, I'm not too sure if this one exists anywhere, though. Uh, but at the very least, it's preserved by video game sites like my abandonware and uh you know by the fact that it doesn't require an online connection although the online features don't work and i shall forever be told that i have a postcard pending now but i can't send it granted it's not, it doesn't show anything on the a screen new feature has been oh, large rock pillar heck yeah new more rock sizes chuck it in there wonderfully large rock there we go um so yeah, so Ubisoft's kind of, you know, said these DLCs don't don't work anymore. Um, and that's a bit of a shame if you enjoyed stuff like the Far Cry 3 DLC, which is now being terminated. I think they also cut off the online services for Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, whatever they were. I can't even remember what they were, to be honest. Um, maybe it had co-op? No, 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 no. Um, but they cut that off last year or the year before, something like that. Um, so yeah, so this cuts off the online services for Far Cry 3. Uh, and Assassin's Creed 3. Now what some articles say at the time is don't worry because this doesn't affect the online services for the Far Cry 3 remaster or the Assassin's Creed 3 remaster. This is the part that I get kind of upset about. Well actually I get upset about a lot of this stuff. But uh, in particular your remaster has not replaced the original because there are people who own the original who don't own the remaster. The scientists have unlocked the mysteries of a new shop. <laughs> We're saved. We're saved. Oh, gotta get that balloon shop. You, you see that? Uncle Vlad's coming. I wish I had an Uncle Vlad. Eureka. I had an Uncle Vlad at uni. A new ride. Oh, wait, hang on. It was pretty cool. Researched and we've researched a new ride. ride. Upgrade. Upgrade. Oh, that's good too. Phew, I broke down before I got to do this. Dang it. At least you can go from breaking down into has down. into the upgrade like no sweat, so it's not too bad. Also, yeah, the balloon shop is so cool. Look at that. A new set of shops, a whole new genre of shopping has become available to research. Ooh, upgrades for insecticide are cheap as. Jeez. Um, so yeah, so this is the part that I get kind of upset about. Not everyone who owns Far Cry 3, myself included, owns the remaster. Not everyone who owns Assassin's Creed 3, Possibly myself included. I, I can't remember if I own Far Cry, uh, Assassin's Creed 3. I think I own it on, on Uplay, perhaps. But I don't own the remaster. I know that, for a fact. Um, why is it that the my game cannot support the online service anymore, but the remaster does? I might, I, you know, go, okay, there's some things that the remaster does that aren't in the original. Maybe there's some things that are different. But generally... 
you're running a server, the infrastructure costs are the same. The difference is you've now changed the software stack, which by the way, your software stack should really be fairly independent of the OS and platform you deploy it on. Literally, you just need a DNS server that's pointing to your server, and then my game can then talk to your game provided some really We've common thing, trouble, like a DNS host, right, is pointing to, to, you know, your server. That's that's as simple as... Right there you go, let's, let's get both of these out. Um, that's as simple as it can be. There's not really anything too weird, really, about that. It seems just obvious to me. Um, and on top of that, while we're at it... Visitors are really happy and they're buying tons of balloons. Well, not tons. Balloons don't weigh very oh, there's much. there's a balloon right here. It's a clown a balloon as well. Look at that go. It rocks up and down as well. How did anyone get used to that? Jeez. Um, but the... Uh... I don't own the game. I've, I've lost my train of thought. But like, yeah, I don't. I don't own these remasters of the games, and I don't understand why the remaster of the game works on a server level compared to the original. I can understand maybe technical aspects would make the old game run better on new hardware. But I'm also like, your your new game with your new server is still kind of mostly supporting things that fr are from the old game. I can. I don't see it as much. All I can think of is maybe you've changed your, you know, your backend of Ubisoft account system so much that now it doesn't mean anything. Like, there's features that the old game has, for example, like, um, I don't think, I don't know if Uplay has the achievement points unlock stuff anymore that they've had, um, but they, I think they refer to it by name in-game in Rayman Legends, for example, which has had its online servers knocked out since 2020, so which really bummed me out when I played it, because suddenly it tried connecting to online and then would tell me it failed all the time. It's kind of irritating. Um, Customers especially for a game that's like for, a deal. like, a the PS4 and, like, a bunch of consoles that aren't exactly even phased out yet. It's just crazy that that's the case. Uh, but it gets even worse. It gets even worse, because, one, I've mentioned, okay, so there's DLC now. It's like... If it was just online services, sure. But it's DLC activation. It's something that's a one-time tick the box, do it, and ideally shouldn't really be incompatible, or at the very least should be always migrated over into your new services. DLC activation is so critical, and literally all you need to do is change whatever backend you've got to support accounts being, like, DLC being validated in your new games. Oh, sorry, in your old games. Like, as in, my game has this key, I want to register this key. The keys have always existed and will continue to exist for new games. Your backend literally just needs to go, this key, this this name, does it, should it work? D this account, should, should it work? And then it returns to the game, yeah, it does work. There might be a lot of other information associated, but, I, like, obviously... That's something that always still exists. There's no big domain knowledge that's changed at all. That is a concept that still always exists. I don't understand why DLC activation won't be supported apart from you are so cheap, you don't want to run those servers anymore, except then I would again argue, now we get to, now we get to the real meat and bones. There's a young scallywag going round popping kids balloons. You should get a gun what a and put jerk. a to it. Also, let's get some cameras in there. I think the cameras will help. Um, so here's where we get to the the real, the real like spooky part. Okay, uh, I think that's the stuff walking around. So I think I need to put another camera up in the top left. Um, so I mentioned if people weren't buying the game or any of these games, people probably. I mean, people always notice. A new feature has been reserved. But people are not gonna, like, you know, people are not gonna jump on uh, a really old game not being available anymore. Like, no one, no one really complains that, uh, you know, Theme Park World, you can't really buy it anymore. Because the game had kind of fallen out of public view. Obviously, it still floats around in physical versions. But it had never been put on more platforms. Sure, okay. You know, I'll still make the argument of, like, you know, whoever owns the license, which would be EA. 
uh, like, you know, just go for it. Why don't you? Do you have to fix the secure arm stuff? Like, you know, these crackers have done it all the time. It shouldn't be that bad. Um, but, uh, the real kicker is a game called Assassin's Creed Liberation HD, I think. It's a, it's a smaller title, I think they had. And, uh, this change, this, uh, you know, termination of the DLC activation, also includes the activation of this whole game. I've some kind, or there's something going on, on a raw level. Um, You've done it. Nope. You've won a golden ticket. Oh, I got the Visit of Happiness one already, cool. Sick. Nice. So that's two golden tickets, I'm one away from buying the third ride, which is... Who knows what it is, but apparently <laughs> the reliability in all these is trash. Um, number own, mum. Good number. Um, but the... Uh, this, this game, yeah, from what I hear, you can't activate it without um, the online servers. So when the online servers go down, the game stops being activated. Now, I think Ubisoft, for all of the games that w would be affected, they wrote a thing on the Steam store page saying this game's online services won't be active, or, or DLC and online services won't be active uh, or available from this day onwards. They've said that. Assassin's Creed Liberation is more than just the DLC and the online services. It's the game itself. It's... It's the fact that, like, this whole game is now unavailable. And... And... I'm, I'm just to keep going. And... It was on sale in the Steam sale. It was something people were buying, I think for like 67 or 75% off. Possibly without knowing, the game they bought in seven weeks time will be unplayable it will not work there are a number of games like that on steam i remember titanfall 1 was in the same boat where they shut off the online servers and uh they still sold the game for like quite a number of months and that and that game is multiplayer only there is no merit to buying that game when it was on sale and by the way now it's not on sale anymore and you can't buy it anymore so you know the, the loss is when the online servers went down sure this is another example of that, uh, but it's so incredibly scummy. Of a, I'm, I'm going to say scummy, like as a harsh one, because there's no like the the original problem of they shut down the online service feels so unjustified because in this case people are buying the game. There are so many people who bought the game in the sale to then immediately go like. What on earth are you doing as a company if the thing I just bought doesn't work anymore? It's an older game, sure, but like... Like... There, there's so little time... Sorry, not there's so little time from the announcement, because it's like, it's three months, I don't think really people would be any more fine if you said, in five years time we're shutting it down. I'm not too happy about how 2K does it with their NBA titles, how they explicitly say, we shut down the servers 27 months after the game's release. It's like, well, that doesn't feel nice, because it's also two two years and three months that you've got the online servers up. But, uh, but to basically, like, capitalize on something and then close down the online servers, which only makes sense if you weren't making money off the game, seems completely backwards to me. Because it's like, what do you gain? It's bad PR. You now have fewer games to be sold. I guess that's your, that's your argument? People, like, aren't buying the newer games, they're buying the older ones, so you basically kill support for the older games in the best way possible? That's so greedy. And if it's not that, then... What- what is it? Be why? Because you've got your games... Like... Making money! And your servers continue to not cost that much. I can- I can... Certainly speculate. I have no evidence. But I can certainly speculate that game servers do not cost anywhere near the price of the games that people are buying. Like, the, the revenue is obviously offsetting the cost of the servers, let alone the cost of making the game, which is, they've already paid off. It's, it's fine. Um, so, it's, it's a completely, like, 
unjustifiable move. The only other thing I can think of is a high up manager said we have so many servers and we need to reduce it. Like, it's like, oh, we just, we just don't want to, I love this, that descending part of the song as well. Um, there's so many, like, sorry, how, what, what, let me rephrase it, as in like, yeah, the, the cost of the servers do not cost that much. Look out. Oh, Look out. I have not Shoot been paying, oh no, the brain is about to burst. It's about to break down. Just the brain. Dang it, Peter Jackson brain dead. Oh my gosh, more people. How many people do I have in the park? Uh, I'm not particularly getting the 350 yet, but people are finding stuff disgusting though. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this toilet is a real that other toilet. one is not doing too Click too hot the either. Cleaner button to have someone look at it. Oh. Has anyone got a key to this? Anybody? Anyone? Oh. A lot of the toilets are closed. Oh my gosh, really? No one complains until one toilet is closed, then all the toilets are closed. Man, I gotta put a toilet in every block. That's the only way I'm getting around this. That's the only way I'm getting around this. Uh, but yeah. So, yeah, all, all I can think is a manager is going around going, we have costs. We want to advertise that we are keeping costs down, and by always supporting more and more games, we effectively will never go down in that value, or in, in that metric. It's silly, it's arbitrary, but I can see how you have now come to that conclusion. That's, uh, ooh, gift shop as well. I can, I can see where the conclusion has come from. No, we can all rest it's not, a little it's easy. not correct. It's not really, like, it doesn't make sense. But, a new I can see it. Has been That's it. Wow, researching Why? a bit of everything. Even the features have new Ooh, features. can I put a medium bush in? Yeah, medium bush. Heck yeah. A whole new set of shops is available to be researched. Also, I guess I could put a staff room over on this side as well. Two staff rooms. Some little horror has put a stink bomb in your park. Oh, right on the puzzle. How could you do that? Honestly. How could you do that? Right on the puzzle. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, so what what is a constructive solution other than yelling at companies to never do this? Uh, one constructive solution is don't lock your online features behind completely privatized source code. I understand that you have product activation code in there. And obviously you are reusing that for other games. In which case, why? Like, again, like, <laughs> that just kind of proves that you don't have any, you know, you any difference. Well, not difference, but like, like, your code is obviously not completely unique. Oh, Hades is the uh, log flume. This gives me an opportunity to build a very long log flume ride, so I'm going to go for it. Uh, let's go for a right at the end. Uh, this one's a bit of a weird one because the um the ride starts down the bottom. Uh, but then the the exits at the top, so it's like you gotta you gotta do this to make it work out. Okay, so other than that, it's a log flume. You go for it. You'll need to build pylons to support. Uh, oh, what was the key? Backspace. Yeah, there you go. You'll need to build pylons to support this kind of track. Click in the uh, I think you got to upgrade in order to the track will be do loop de loops, it. but I'm it very sure it was like loop de loops are pretty cool when you get them to work. On top. Clicking the other end of the ride will complete the track. The buttons on the control panel arm let you make changes to the pylons. Click them, and I'll tell you more. Oh, that looks a bit too tight, but that'd be kind of sick if I could get that to work. Can I not do that? There you go. I'll go with that. All right, now let's uh, adjust the bits. This is going to be some pretty crafty like mixing. Okay, let's uh, pivot the track a little bit on the left. I want to go. I want to go left, man. I don't want to just lean it, lean it down. Okay, lean it down like that. Oh, 
Oh. I have made the track not not nice. It's 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 Conrad. There you go. Actually, let's see if I can move that one down. It goes up, but like, why does it have to go up? There you go. It's not the longest log flume, so I guess it's probably just <laughs> accepting it, but eh, it's a log flume. We'll go for it. It's called Hades, which is wonderful. Is this what the River Six looks like? I don't know what's with the bone with the eyes, but... Some joker is littering around your park. See if you can get a cleaner over there to clean up his mess. Oh, peop okay, people are getting very unhappy all of a sudden. People are finding things very stinky all of a sudden. Alright, so I know that the cleaner patrol doesn't affect the right area, so let's go with uh, another cleaner. David Byrne, you're back! He's back. He's back and cleaning in action. It looks like you want to set this employee's patrol area. <clears throat> okay, and then who's the cleaner who manages the top part? I want to see if I can spot him in a crowd. Is it this guy? To cancel this employee's patrol area, click the patrol area button. I wish, ah, oh, I wish this menu was a bit easier. We've discovered a new right. Oh wait, hang on. We've researched. Oh my goodness, is was that it? Ah, that's good too. Hold on, was was the button there? Is that the patrol area highlighted? locate your employees. Oh my goodness. Click a button to find a particular. To catch. Just very briefly, but one of your rides is about to break down. Take cover. Or I suppose you could fix it. Yeah, I could fix it, but I'm not gonna... Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll ride it. There you go. Uh, answer number two, other than <laughs> other than giving out your source code, is... Um, uh, effectively giving design docs to just the authentication. Explain how it works. Perhaps, again, both of you know those options would give... Uh, you know, it would give uh, credence to reverse engineering your actual services right now. It's a risk. I 100% I accept that. Yeah, that's a risk. So, solution number three. Give it to, you know, trusted community members. You obviously have people who do care about these games. There are bound to be people out there who legitimately would love the opportunity to, to maintain the service for a certain game. Even if it is, like, kind of rough, you give them explicit permission with the source the code, with servers available, and, if you keep them that and way, they won't uh, strike. you know, just let them go for it. And then just go like, okay, well, and uh, give them like a DNS redirect, or even better, just let them register the A record for that specific thing. Like, just give them, give them that, or even just tell people, you know, you can reroute your DNS server to a certain other thing if you really want to. Um, but like, ultimately, like, these are all solutions to solving a problem that really shouldn't exist. Um, and it's especially one that, like, people have seen coming for ages. I keep saying, I am a lucky person who owns Dark Spore. I have a game sitting on my shelf where I can put the disc in and Origin will tell me, No, you cannot play this game because it doesn't we don't have the servers up anymore. It disappeared from my origin library. I own the game, but it is not downloadable. It's just hard gone. I own Battleborn, I think. I don't actually have Lawbreakers. I remember that game being shut off. Uh, the game's being shut offline. It happens. It happens a lot. Like, and especially with a lot of these games that do have multiplayer components to them. Yeah, they're not... Well, sorry, they're not. A, they don't run all time. I don't think it's realistic for games to be supported by the same company forever, or for companies to really be compelled to do that forever. But I think that there is a degree of passionate enough people 
that given the opportunity will make a game last forever. That is why people still play Doom, that is why people still play Quake, that is why people still play um, Warzone 2100, a game that went completely open source. It's on GitHub. You can download the game. Um, there's also games out there where other developers got the source code, and it's not open source, but I was noting that Shadow Man has a new update. Uh, it's in beta, and it's been out for a couple of weeks, um, but it adds in a new difficulty mode, and a new boss, and a new enemy, and adds new attack animations for other enemies, as well as also just making the game generally harder. Just a new difficulty mode. But it re- it, it's either adding in more cut content, or it's more interesting content. More just things that, you know, existed once, and now they... Sorry, what am I saying? Uh, it, it's got things that, you know, weren't in the game before and weren't in the original release of the game, and now they're manifested again. And it's neat, sure. It's it's, uh, and, uh, it's a single-player game, I guess. Uh, but there's so many games out there where it's like, they have a legacy made entirely with this long-term community support because obviously there is there are so few games out there that have gotten that long-term support from the developers i think the only one i can really think of is um postal 2 got like dlc well after its release but it's still by all the original people who made the game um i guess like duke nukem 3d had its like fifth episode added in in the 2016 version it's like games out there where it's like it's like that um but in general, like, a lot of these games that still last, like, last because they have community support. Um, and, yeah, like, no one cares about authenticating Quake 3. It's so easy to download a copy of Quake 3 illegally. Also, wow, that's all the side shows, okay. Uh, it's so easy to download Quake 3 illegally. And yet, does that stop anyone? No, a lot of people still buy Quake 3. A lot of people will still seek out legal copies of Quake 3. It doesn't matter that there's all this piracy. You know, people will, will play a game because, hey, it still works and people still play it. Assassin's Creed Liberation now is entirely pirate frenzy game. There is no way to play the game unless you pirate it, which is a bizarre reversal of what the whole point of all of these mechanics, all of a these features should be. Has been uh, yeah, yeah, new feature. Why? Wow. Even the features but like, have new the whole features. point of all this, like, you know, DLC, DRM, whatever, is purely because... Wow. You're picking up the game pretty quickly. Oh. Burgers, burgers, let's do it. Challenge. Let's do it. It's a quick, though not necessarily easy, way to pick up some bonus money. How much for the burger shop? It's burger shop's cheap, so I could put one on the other side of town. Just yet. You shouldn't worry, you'll get another chance. To find out more they did not give the me many chances on the last one. Kid, Kid Creosote Fountain, hold on. Hold on. Golden ticket. Hold on. Congratulations. No, no, very important. Pride. Very important, Kid Creosote Tower. This is highly important. Look at this. Some areas of the park aren't being patrolled by an entertainment. Also 200 people, nice. Look at that, it's a kid. In a, is that a kid in a straight jacket? I think it is. And uh, at various points, he turns around and starts... Does he barf? I'm pretty sure he barfs into the puddle around him. There it is! Ah, oh, it's so glorious. It's so glorious. I love it. So I'm having an angry rant about Ubisoft, but... Oh boy. So good. How's the burgers going? 11? Really? Only 11? There's another burger shop over here. I gotta put a bin over here, though. There you go. Please litter responsibly. Uh, is that all the shops as well? Oh, we got the restaurant. No, I think there's the steakhouse that needs to also go in. Uh, which is fun, because I'm starting to cut the corners on the, the price there. Also, I guess I can afford uh, the other golden ticket ride, can't I? Wow, it's a big one. Uh, let's pop it there. There you go. Line rides up. This is 
Spooky Spider. What a what a name. What a name. Spooky Spider. This is just the Sun God ride. <laughs> it's no different. You know what? That's okay. Because we got Jaw Dropper here. Uh, but... Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the biggest irony. Listen up. Researching he does, he does buff like I lose money. I just caught your, your message uh, as well. Um, he's just there. Ah, oh, all over the kids around him. It's so glorious. It's so glorious. Uh, but, but yeah, that, that's, that's mostly my rant on, on, uh, you know, particularly Assassin's Creed Liberation, but even just the general idea of all these games being taken off sale. There's no... I don't have a real big reason and like why they do it and all I can say is yeah like if you want to encourage piracy in the best way possible you make piracy the only means to play your game like it's it just feels like miss my oh did I mention Far Cry 3 hey there we go seven and a half grand that's a lot of money in that challenge did you know that even now and all the dawn of a new century there are areas oh, okay, they want me to do a second entertainer. Okay, do we have another entertainer pike, uh, type? Yeah, we do. We got the mummies. The <laughs> looks, looks at the Frankenstein. Mummies. <clears throat> there you go. Alright, let's get the other one wherever he's chilling. There he goes. Oh, that wasn't him. Steve Gammon. That's not him. I want you, Matthew Witten. Uh, I think I'm probably going to have to address the troll area, which now needs to extend up this away. So that, I think, I think that covers everything. Yeah, that looks about right. Yeah, that actually looks fine. <laughs> so, cool. Uh, mechanics, I don't have patrol areas. Maybe I should. Alright, let's give the mechanics patrol areas. Uh, wherever they're at. Where's the mechanic? I'll just click on you and then go to the mechanic. Uh, but yeah, no. Have you seen how many costumes people are buying? They're having a great time. Uh, there are not too many rides in that corner, so instead I'm gonna do it like a crossways. Uh, and then the other one gets to be up here. There's another four rides in this half, so here you go. Uh, is he about to tell me that things are about to break down, or are those old messages? Oh boy, Peter Jackson brain dead. This ride is fault. <laughs> that was a bit close, wasn't it? Uh, mechanics are round. He is, he is, he is plus size. He is not round. He's, uh, nah, I, the, like, there's two mechanic sprites. There's one absolutely massive, and then the, uh, the other one is, a uh, well, he's resting, but he, he's thinner. I, I love I love that they've just got the two mechanic types. I think it's just a, a pretty stylized like thing. Like it's just like oh like you know because there are like massive mechanics out there. Like you can be strong muscular but still have a lot of just body mass. Um, so I think it, true true he's invisible. I mean they're all sprites anyways. They're all two D. All the cleaners is only one kind. But then uh, <laughs> I gotta have a Dracula somewhere. Watch him go, yeah! <laughs> he's going, he's, he's having a fun time, he's flying around. He act, he legitimately flies around as well, hold on. Oh my gosh, there he is. I'm gonna step back, that's a bit terrifying. I'll just run to the feature and knows off. Let's sit down on this feature and take a load off. But then he legitimately flies around. <laughs> it's just like, oh, okay. Okay, I guess. Oh my gosh, this kid is just in shock. I was about to get a one-ride ticket to Transylvania and join, uh, Suck City? That's not it. Speak of furry friends, that is actually furries. Well, you can't be a furry unless you go to the costume shop, so we'll put it around there. Oh, it's like bats. That <laughs> kind of furry uh, friends. Some little terrorist has set off a stink bomb in your park. Yeah. Oh, uh, how's the toilets going? People get sick. Uh, I really wish there was a toilet view. Done. Instead, you just kind of have to do this and glance through all of them. It's not too bad, but... Actually, the... there's a toilet view on the PS1 version. What stops them? I don't understand what's with this. It's like there's a row for each one of these, like, uh, 
feature types, and then it tells you how many you own next to it, which just feels a bit redundant. Uh, let's see. I'm amazed that the fortune teller makes a lot of money. I think it's you probably... Edit the details of a side no, they're, they're all the same price the and the same... Change the odds of winning like, or losing. <laughs> reward money, but yet... Or win money, but yet... Apparently the fortune teller gets more love. Uh, rest of these are doing alright, although no one goes on Peter Jackson's brain dead, apparently. Probably because it broke down, that's, that's probably why. No, the park's going alright. I think I got the pattern down pat, so... There's no big concern with really how it all works out. And I also keep facing all my rides uh, south here. Uh, it just makes it easier so I can take a screenshot. But look at that, we're an hour into the stream and uh, the game is not bugging out. I think DigiVoot has done its work. That was the biggest Jinx call I've ever, I've ever made. I keep thinking someone is throwing up, and someone is. Me on the inside. Let's figure out a place to put the huge rock. That is an amazing spot for the huge rock. Alright, I think I got another huge rock as well, don't I? Oh no, that's that's all the features, okay. No more shops. I got the arcade. Let's see if I can... I wish you could just slot it in there. Yeah, what's the, what's the most likely place someone will stumble upon the arcade? Yeah, like here. <laughs> Immediately after they've come off a spider. You've built all of the available features. So, Maybe you should uh, some yeah, more. so that's all the sideshows. There's gonna be a few features left, I know, yep. Uh, some shops. I think it's just the restaurant and the... S I think there's a steakhouse afterwards. But maybe the restaurant is it. And then, uh, we're about to get the ghost ship. So, there we go. Your scientists have come up with a new ride. Ghost ship is a wonderful, like, play on a spooky, like, kind of ride concept. Does he really, like, come up to tell you that your ride, like, doesn't match the entry and exit? There you go. Ghost Park, uh, you probably want to be a little bit further over this away, so you can catch that one in there. Uh, it doesn't have to go too far, you only have to go over here, so. So, Ghost Ship. I actually, I have a terrible experience with a Ghost Ship. Well, not a Ghost Ship, but just a regular pirate ship ride. I don't know why, my, my mum, I think like when I was like three or four or five, I went to Movie World with a bunch of, um, people, maybe a cousin, maybe a friend of some kind, not one of my friends, but like one of my sister's families who has brothers or something like that, and we went on a pirate ship, and I am very, uh, I'm very afraid of heights, and the ghost ship goes back, and this ghost ship at SeaWorld, it did not have seat belts or anything, it was just, you're on the bench, it might have had seat belts, I think it's probably the centri centripetal. Whoever said that Cent no, it'd be centrifugal. Hasn't met where, scientists. because the thing spins around so fast, it might be able to go upside down, and you don't like actually like fly off. But I don't know if it did. It went back really far. I was like kind of really sliding. I did not enjoy it. I hate pirate ships now. On this, but it's. Like, I don't, I don't know. The, I have a lot of, like, weird experiences with, like, theme parks, because it's like, I've, I've got good ones. I went to Disneyland, I'm like, a ride on everything. I hate Splash Mountain, because there's, again, no seatbelts. Strap me in to Splash Mountain, please. I don't want to sit on, like, a bench and have bars on my left and right to hold. Just to hold. Because the ride goes down. It goes down really fast. And I worry about when it goes down, like, that... You know, I, I, I have, like, it's not going down too fast, but, like, it feels like sometimes it's pushed down, like, there's a little bit of an extra Toilets speed, uh, you like, you know, boost that it, it gets given. Open. Uh, yeah, these are getting, these are getting kind of smelly. Um, but I feel like it's got, like, a little a bit of an extra, has been an extra speed boost Why? to make it go Even down, like, pretty, you, you know, powerfully. And I'm like, if I'm not sitting down, if I'm not, like, pulling myself in like that, you know, that sounds like a There's concern a to me. A um, 
you should get a cleaner on the case. I never found any other rides at Disneyland were like that. Like you got the the Matterhorn, and the Matterhorn's got like a, a loose seat belt. It's pretty. It's pretty loose. It's just like a belt, but it's like no, it's something. It keeps you in line. And I was like, yeah, that ride's fine. Um, obviously, Space Mountain has the full bar, and a lot of the rides have the full bar. Thunder Mountain has one, um, even like the Seven Dwarves ride, which is really smooth and honestly doesn't send you flying. That one's fine. I don't know why Splash Mountain is perfectly fine with nothing in front of you, though. I think it's because they need the photo. But like, legit, like, yeah, if you've never been on Splash Mountain, try and find photos of people on Splash Mountain. There's a lot of, you know, joke photos that people have, but like, no... What the what the safety is on that? It's amazing. Someone's gonna <laughs> call me a bit of a wuss on that one. Uh, Hades has an upgrade. Nice. Hades is gonna cost me an arm and a leg to upgrade, but you know what? It's worth it. It's Hades, and also jaw dropper is about to break, and also flight mare tours is about to break. They're all gonna break on me. Uh. I don't think I've had any other, like, real horrifying experiences on rides. Um, I've had ones where it's like, I never realized that they went upside down. I think I went to um, the other Disney, the Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And in the, uh, in the movie portion of the park, I prefer the California park, um, just less walking distance. But in that movie portion, they had the uh, Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster. And, uh... Do I have the happiness level ticket already? I think I did, but now I'm kind of wondering, like... How has my happiness even been? Because my happiness is... <laughs> funny number. But it's never been, like... It hasn't quite gotten to 70 yet. I've got, I've got to just boost the rating, but oh my gosh. Like, things are just taking their time to... To clean up. Horrendous. At the very least, my money is somehow a bit more stable than it was before. Although, I'm, I'm tending towards the bottom end of 10,000 again, so who knows. But, yeah, I mean, I'm getting most of the... Oh, I guess this is the one. Ooze Cruise is coming up. I don't have a, um, like a go-kart track. Or it might be a, um, like a water ride track. And I know that's going to come up pretty soon. Um, Ooze Cruise is a, uh, coaster though, I believe. So... I don't... Oh, is it a coast? Well, we'll see in a moment. Eureka. Well, no, because we're getting an upgrade for Brain Buster. Oh, wait, hang on. Wait, hang on. Ah, oh, that's good too. too. Why is that 10 seconds? Oh, who, who knows? We're not, we're not gonna know while it's, uh... While it's, uh, under construction, but... That's okay. Uh, this ride is about to break down, dang it. Uh, but yeah, no, the rock and roller coaster goes upside down, but because it's an all indoor coaster, you don't see any of it when you're lining up. You just think, oh, it's the rock, rock and roller coaster. Um, but yeah, no, you could feel it once you're on it. It's, and honestly, like, like, I always hate the looks of upside down, but it's, it's not too bad. Like, it, you legitimately don't feel it much. Is this another speaker? I just put down two speakers. The spooky spirits goes directly next to the night creatures. We'll put we'll put the spooky spirits because I think night creatures would serve better for the spider ride. Oh my gosh, these these two guys are going at it. There's three of them. There's so many of these. Wow. Wow. I don't think I've been to too many other theme parks. I feel like there's a lot of like other loose theme parks around in the US um, and other countries. I think uh, Europe's got a lot of like random ones here and there. Sometimes people note the safety on some of them. Um, in Australia, they're pretty like mass advertised. If you've ever been to the Gold Coast, there's just three real big ones. There's Movie World, Sea World, and apparently Wet n Wild, but it used to be Dream World was the other big one, but now Wet n Wild is like the big one. There's a Wet n Wild variation here in Sydney, in the, um, in the Inner West, I believe. Maybe around there. Um, I've never been to that one, and I've never actually been to the other Wet n Wild. I've, I've not done water theme parks, really. Um, but, uh, it's been probably, like, yeah, two years since I last went to SeaWorld. Legitimately, I think I was actually six last time, which might have been the, the pirate ship time. I don't think I've ever gone since. 
so beautiful. Beautiful. Mwah. Mwah. Um, yeah, I don't know of any other big theme parks floating around Sydney. There's, yeah, there was Dreamworld, which is, it's managed by another, like, big company, and I don't know if it's actually still there now. I remember they used to have, uh, promotions from Nickelodeon a bunch, Something so they had the Nickelodeon, uh, like, a corner of the park. Up his mess. Um, don't really remember a ton about it. Um, and yeah, I haven't gone to a ton of theme parks. Theme parks are a bit expensive if they're very popular. Um, and obviously theme parks are big logistics Eureka. problems. Here we go, there's the Ooze Cruise. The right. Ooze Cruises, oh, it's the water track one. So we can safely build it down here. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait, hang on. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade, ah. That's good too. Oh, that's good too. This is going to be a bit of an interesting way to lay it out, but... A new set of rides has become available to research. I've already made, like, this kind of ride really long before, so... Uh, let's backspace that a little bit. Oh, except I am going to... Ooh, is there any space? I don't think there is any space, actually. Your balloons are selling like hotcakes. Well, not in stacks, more like grapes, you know, bunches. Anyway, it means the visitors are having fun. Let's pop it here instead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my way around it. <laughs> I'm gonna work my way around it. Immediately runs into the problem. Dang it. Uh. Okay, okay. Once more with feeling. There you go, look at that. Easy. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. It's a, it's a bit simple, but sure. Sure, okay. Look at that, my money's orange. I'm running low on the money. This is a really, a that's a really close searched. call with the track Why? as well. Even the features have new features. Uh, and I've got a speaker, the bells, which I will totally buy right now. Why not? Did I have a new research as well? Hades has a new research for 2000. Oh boy. So, but I've got these rides fully upgrading pretty, you know, pretty soon. So it's not going to be too caught out. Uh, this one is actually needing repair. Uh, Uskruz obviously doesn't have an upgrade. Uh, the ghost ship has an upgrade, okay. Spooky Cycle has no upgrades. Hades is the roller coaster. Peter Jackson Brain Dead can be upgraded. Flight Med Tours is fully upgraded, sure. And Tentacle Terror is the one I started at, so cool. Half my rides are need repairs, dang it. Uh, yeah, making my way here. We're doing pretty alright. I guess I'm also an hour 18 to the stream, so. Uh, but it is the beginning of 2002, so it's not too far away. What are people too upset about over there? Oh, they need a toilet over there, true. Okay, let's do it. Let's chuck another toilet, and why don't I chuck another cleaner, because I've only got three going around, so... There you go, look at that, toilet! Uh, so yeah, let's chuck another cleaner in that direction. very specific area. Uh, should I buy another mechanic? Maybe. Now let's do it. <laughs> I'm running out of money. Let's buy it, just another mechanic. So he gets to look after these ones and I'll stretch them further down. Uh, yeah, I hope the training is doing alright. Oh. oh, okay, upgrade down. Uh, is that the sound of people coming in and paying 50 bucks for entry fees? Yes, it is. Cool. Again, I still have no idea how to raise the fees that much. It seems that people are so picky the moment it's above 50 bucks. And I'm like, you really feel like you need to get the money above 50 bucks. Because otherwise then it's like, well I get about two and a half grand. And I gotta wait for a month. And a lot of that goes away because of costs. It's not the worst, but then... I've got a... 
uh, effectively, uh, I mean, I guess, I guess I pay quite a fair bit on, you know, the scientists. Like, if I cut out all the scientists, what, what am I saving here? I'm probably saving, like, 1,200. Uh, so, like, sure, okay. Maybe you slow down the scientists near the end of the game, but I don't know, man. Hocus Pocus is taking its time. And then you got the, like, that's four rides still to go. Meanwhile, how many researchers have I had? Three, or oh, sorry, features, three. Yeah, who knows. And then, again, there goes all my money, because I think it all just went because of staff just then. And there's fewer people in the park, and the ratings lower. Why? Do people just not like Halloween Land as much? This one's definitely trickier. I've only gotten, um... Uh... Three tickets. I'd preferably like five. I'd preferably like five, because I need... Oh, oh actually, I, I think I'm okay with four. But it's just, like, still. Wait. Mm, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Yeah, I got five in the last park. I've gotten... Uh... Three this park, actually. Yeah, I've only got three tickets so far. I'd, I would like, uh... Four. Because I don't want to rely on trying to get four in the next park. Um, oh my gosh, what's going on here? People are just throwing up in the... <sighs> there's not a, the, the cleaners, there's not enough... ...cleanering going on. This screen lets you see the details of a toilet. Well, the if toilets are doing okay, do. so... <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Oh, the orange People money makes me worry. A really good deal. Keep up the good work. Oh, the sideshows are a good deal. Oh my gosh, that's not a good deal right there. This screen shows information about your <clears throat> uh, to the right info. Hold on, where is it? There we go, the right info. Really? The sideshows are a good deal? They're not a good deal for me. But people are liking the fact that there's two burger shops. No customers last month, really. On this screen, you I'm just gonna go gorilla. We're going gorilla. We are picking up and putting down the same shop. Will they be attracted to it? Probably not. But look at that. Now there's no profit for this fry shop. It's a brand new fry shop. That has actually attracted people to the shop. Have I found the bit to abuse? You know, a feature, as in. I might have found the way to abuse it. Just pick it up and put it down again. Let's sit down on this feature and take a load out. Where can I put this tree that looks impactful? There we go. Visitors <gasps> find your ticket price. They did it! Cheap. They're Perhaps finding the price cheap! Them. They did it! I can raise the price ten dollars. A new set of miscellaneous items has oh. become available to research. You could have your scientists investigate. Yeah, let's do it. Let's dump my money in Hades level 3. Eureka! We've discovered a new right. Oh, wait, hang on. We've there you go. No more right. money. Upgrade. No more money. Oh, that's good. So I've been playing some kind of interesting games the past uh, week. Um, I thought I'd like to, to mention them. The uh, one that I played through entirely is a game that I've replayed. Uh, well, I, I did replay was Professor Layden and the Curious Village. I thought it would be good to revisit the game and kind of get like an opinion on playing the game a second time, probably like 12 or so years after I'd played the original. Um, and uh, so what Professor Layden is, for those who don't know, is that it's a point and click visual novel. It's a little, it's, it's too easy for an adventure game because there's no items in your inventory. There's no real overworld puzzles. Um, but what you do have is, uh, your, your challenge is you get these effectively, like, just riddle puzzles. Um, sometimes they're not just riddles, they're just, like, actual puzzles. So sometimes they involve, um, uh, like, moving a, a matchstick a certain way to make a certain shape. Um, some of them are, like, a, a bit of a math problem. Like, they're like, oh, like, what area is this shape? And they're, they're doing, like, some kind of, like, fancy shape to throw you off. Uh, but then you get other ones, so it's like, um, uh, what's an example of a puzzle? It's like this, where it's like, uh, yeah, it was, it was like an alien, sorry, an astronaut, like, goes to a planet, 
um, and the, like, a, a foreign planet, and the inhabitant, and it's got a picture of, like, these little squid alien things, and it's like, he counted that there are, uh, like, 575, like, male inhabitants, 378 female inhabitants, and then, like, 122 of, of, who are both, how many, uh, like, <laughs> how many aliens are on the planet? And the, and the answer is one, because the astronaut is the only alien on the planet. And I'm just like, you got to be kidding me. There's, there's a lot of questions that are like that. Um, this is a good amount of money. I am greatly appreciating it. I would really like to get that 350 in the park. That'd be kind of cool. You know what, I'll take the more money though, because I'm definitely going to run into the problem of I've researched a new ride eventually, and I can't afford it. Um... Seems to be going okay. Like, that was a good bit of money. Uh... <laughs> kind of a good bit of money. I guess I spent 2000 on, um... Thingy there. And the staff cost hasn't actually, like, gone up too high. We've got trouble, boss! <coughs> a ride is about to break down. It's always Flight Mare Tours. It's not even any other ride. It's always Flight Mare Tours. This seems to be the one that breaks down. Maybe I gotta... I gotta come up with some names. How do you know there wasn't someone else? Uh... Oh, it could, it could have been. It could have been. Oh, no. A new feature has been... A new been feature? Oh, medium tree. Why? By the Even way, all my money's gone. It's probably staff. Features. It's probably staff. Let's chuck the tree right here. I'm spending all my money... Oh, that that is a good spooky tree, though. Look at that. That is a good spooky tree. That is a good spooky tree. Uh... Actually, yeah, how many astronauts go to planets on their own? I guess... Like, has there ever been a space... Like... Trip? With one person aboard? There's usually at least more than one, right? I guess for the purpose of the puzzle, there's one, there's one astronaut, so... All the puzzles, they don't actually involve any of the, you know, they're usually not... Only into orbit? Okay, they've, okay, they've done orbit. Your scientists have come up with a new ride. Oh, Hocus Pocus ride. This is a spinning ride, so I can actually afford it. Oh, can I put it sideways here? No. Maybe I can put it sideways here. There you go. It's a bit of an awkward spot, but eh, it works out. This is the Tom Tom Twister, except it's a candle. It's kind of cool, actually. I like it. Um, so yeah, all the puzzles in the professor. A new challenge oh. for you. Take a look at the message for details. Oh, I, I mean, granted, there's no reason to like not accept. I I guess because it's not like I'm paying money, but why does it say left click to buy rides here? Well, the workers all seem Who very knows. happy. Keep it up and you'll avoid strikes. Actually, yeah, hold on. That's that tooltip's even different. It's just There's a okay, go for it. Go for it. People are moving in. People are going in. <laughs> People are going in. <laughs> Get those new visitors, bro. There you go. Good timing. There we go. Uh, so yeah, none of the puzzles in the Professor Layton game are um particularly uh, relevant to the actual story. They're just kind of there. Um, and that's okay because there's a lot of puzzles. There's 120 that come up in the story. There's another 15 as bonus puzzles. And then there's 27 that are DLC. Uh, DLC in the slightly annoying way of you need to register the DLC, but they're all on cartridge. Um, fortunately, there exist servers out there that just trigger it. You just point the DS, DNS towards the, you know, the, the same server that I think a lot of other services are, or, you know, Nintendo Wi-Fi services are redirecting to nowadays. Well, not redirecting, but you redirect them to. And it serves one purpose, and that's telling you that, yes, all these things should be, um, unlocked. So, that's fine. Um, and, uh, yeah, no. The puzzles range from... Kind of silly to, I spotted the the problem or like the puzzle pretty soon. To some of them are 
oh okay they're real head scratches to these are just legitimate puzzles like the the sliding block puzzles you know the ones where it's like you gotta get the the like one big colored piece in the middle to slide out and you have to slide and rotate all these other pieces like around it to make it happen um there's the other ones where it's just like uh uh like move these four blocks to the other side which are which also have four blocks in the way and you're gonna move them over back to the other side like stuff like that uh those are probably the trickiest puzzles and the retro achievement set requires you to not only get them but also get them in the fewest number of moves possible which is very terrifying so um so definitely uh also which ride is nearly breaking creepy clown blimps gone we gotta come up with some names for these. So, insecticide, uh, call it, uh... LP10, A Bug's Life. There you go. Inside joke. <laughs> I think it was LP10. Oh, wow. You can buy followers, everyone. Totally visit this guy's link to buy followers, primes, and viewers. I got enough followers, primes, and viewers of my own, so... I don't really have to worry about it. But did you see this giant pun- it's one block. Eureka. It's- 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 that's pretty large actually. It's like larger than a kid. That's good too. Uh, so how's the other upgrades? Because I don't think I've glanced at the other one. So Hades is done, which is actually kind of nice. Because usually that costs a ton to upgrade. Man, that ride is not, like, in living, apparently. I love these, like, I, I, I keep mentioning it every time it shows up, but I love these, like, bot accounts that come through and then just, like, try to get you to, like, click on the link. Because quite a number of those links I've seen aren't actually, like, malicious websites, if that makes sense. Like, they're just, like, regular up. websites that they want you to pay for a service that's his mess. really, like, not worth it. But, like... You're actually, you're not getting scammed exactly, you're just paying for something that you really shouldn't really be paying for, which is viewers on Twitch. It's really arbitrary. Um, I just realized I've got a busload of people also come in, and I've still got a ton of time left. So, the seven and a half grand could be mine, which is nice, because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't get it last time. Um, in the last part, the second challenge, which was like, get people like, buy balloons, and the balloon store is just like not, or like have so many, have 15% of the park holding balloons at once. Which is, it was impossible. There's no way I'm getting 15% of the park holding balloons. How much people, how many people are in the park? 304! I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I might get the 350. Either that or I'll take out a loan and get the, get the, the, uh, the log flume going just for longer. 103. I hope that's not a net new visitors as well, like it's going down. I hope it's just like people arriving and visiting the park. Yeah, there's people walking out of the park, it's fine. I mean, it's not fine for people to be walking out of the park. I'd like a new shipment of shipment of uh, inmates, but it'd be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, no, like, I don't know, a lot, a lot of like those, those Discord Discord bot scams? Oh. <laughs> Discord bot scams are out to get your accounts, like, real bad. Like, they're, they're effectively there to chain. Have you seen how many costumes people are buying? Costumes? Oh, I forgot to note the costumes. Aren't I? They're these pumpkin kids. Check it out, little pumpkin kids. They're like, it's like trick-or-treating all year. In Halloween Town. That was a fart sort. Oh, wait. Yeah, actually, what was the fart noise? Look at these bins as well, that eat, devours the kids. They're supposed to be ghosts, I think. They're not frogs this time, they're just full-on ghosts. The toilets are coffins. I don't know what's going on in the staff rooms, but sure, okay. <laughs> that skull with the eyes, I'll, I'll never get over it. Gruntilda, giving you costumes. Gruntilda, enter her trap. You shall... Turn into pumpkin pet. I don't uh, don't know how to rhyme like Gruntilda does. I feel like the, the the slot machine is kind of not the most appropriate thing for kids, but sure, it is There's most literal arcade 
Oh, he's going. He's going. He's going. Is he going to arrest someone? I realize I've still only got one security guard, so I should probably buy another one and give him a zone. I thought he was about to arrest someone. I know that, like... I think they legitimately bag up kids if they're, like, misbehaving. I mean, he's got a billy club, like... He's gonna beat up someone. He's going, he's running. He's running. Has he found the perpetrator? Yeah, I'm still here. That's, that's the one. Oh, nah. He's giving up. He's giving up. Alright. 133. I'm still nearly there. Uh, let's, yeah, let's get another security guard and then give him some patrol areas. Uh, Mike man, my man, Mike man. Uh, let's, let's split it in half, so we'll give him everywhere from here down. That's a pretty big area. And then the other guy who is not Mike man, it's Dan the man. Gets to do all this. Which feels like it might be a larger area, who knows. Listen, who's the more experienced guy? Dan the man. Who gets paid more? Dan the man. $160 a month. That is a wonderful salary. <laughs> is that above minimum wage? I don't know, man. I love these, like, these simulation games where the scale of the money is not accurate in any way. Or even better, the scale in driving games, the scale of distances you travel, is like, um... Uh, what's a good example of one? Like, you're a truck sim. And it's like, they try their best to get the scale right, but then you reach, like, a town, and it's like the scale completely shrinks down. Like, you travel for so long, and time doesn't progress, uh, very quickly, because you're in a town, right? But then the moment you're kind of out of the town, it's like, okay, time's gotta progress, distance has to be much longer than it is, but then it's like, I'm still driving, like, 60k's an hour, um, like, in the town. I guess that's how they do it. A new feature has been reserved. Oh, we got the last what? sign. Who, the who are we subscribing to now? I'm gonna be able to subscribe to someone. That's the point of the sign. Have a new set of features available there are more them. features? Really? Wow. Alright, where do we put the sign, first of all? It's gotta be facing the camera, so... Let's pop it here. Large sign. Here we go. Uh... Buy followers, primes, and viewers. Oh, and... Nah. It's a bit too tongue-in-cheek, isn't it? Uh... I just realized I have three digits of money. I was playing Harvester again, so, uh... So, uh, why don't I write... Why don't I write this? Uh... Congratulations. You've mastered your really? I... I... Is yours. You always... Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna write it. You always wear a kidder. Your you always wear a kidder, Steve. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> that's... That's always good. Uh, but there you go, challenge money. I got seven and a half grand, and also a bunch of new people showing up, so that's cool. I can buy the new upgrade for Ooze Cruise, and no one will yell at me. Meanwhile, I'm still waiting on Crypt Cart, Devil's Disc, and Rat Race. I don't think any of these are actually roller coasters, so I think that's Hades is the only one. But you can just build another Hades if you want. I legitimately could build all the rides if I'm going to be able to research them quick enough. I'm really curious. We'll see how this goes, because, uh... I said I, I would I would try and end it around the same point, which would be the beginning of July 2003. Uh, which is... Less than a year away, but I don't know. I feel like I'm probably going to research this stuff in, in time. But I'm surprised my happiness isn't there, so I think I might get the ticket for you building everything. All of the available features. Maybe you should research some more. Like, legit, I could just, like, dump out alone and build the remaining bits and... <laughs> just kind of call it there. Who knows? Who knows how this will go? I know I didn't build everything in the um the Dino Land. Uh, I I think I've got a hundred percent as a Twitch tag. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh boy, if I don't actually do 100%, does someone yell at me on that one? I don't know. The, the speedrun categories, but also if you're beating a game 100%, like, how applicable is it? I've got casual playthrough in the title, and it's also Theme Park World. Like, there are speedruns of Theme Park World on the PlayStation 1, where it's like, uh, Unlock All Parks. Which... Seems kind of weird, because it's like, in that game, on the on the PS1, the different parks are unlocked by just having so many, like, total tickets, I think. And then the tickets are fairly easy to just get on all the parks. Because um, there's a lot of tickets that you get from just doing the minigames. Like, and, and you get minigames, so it's like, oh, like, Strength Skull would be like a, a button masher game. Um, they're not in this version, but I don't really feel like you're missing out on a, on much, because this is like a button masher game and a sliding puzzle game and a... Literally the fortune teller is like, you go up to it and occasionally, or at some odd moment, you get the golden ticket. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And you can't spend the golden tickets on special rides. So, you know, they lose that kind of ma magic. Like, Flight Med Tours, you know, it's cool. Speaking of cool, let's check on the rides, see that... Just gonna break on me all over the place. Let's get some more funny names in there while we're at it. Jaw dropper, more like uh, um, ah, uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Jaw dropper is a good name. I can't think of a better name than jaw dropper. Spooky spider. I could call it. Uh... Tarantula... Tarantula Barantula. I don't know. I'm really bad at names. Do you want to write the Tarantula Barantula? Yeah, same. Been researched. You know, a feature a tower? Two hundred dollars and it's a tower? A whole tower? Let's sit down what on the, the heck? Take a load of. Where do you put the haunted tower? I guess right behind the sign, don't you? I I wish I could fit it like in there. Eureka! Or on top You've of that. Discovered a new ride. Or on top of that. Oh, I think I can put it right here. Oops, wrong wrong button to rotate. The other rotate button. Customers at your shop. Oh, it's just right in the way. You're a marketing genius. Congratulations. Ghost ship. Uh, we'll call it. Um, Me at SeaWorld. Oh. Yeah, me, me, me. Oh, gosh, I can type. Me at SeaWorld. When I was six. <laughs> there you go. Short as name. People think your food is great value. Nice one. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. So how many more researchers are there? The demon statue, the super toilet, I'm amazed I still haven't even researched. Let's, let's push towards that. Although people have not complained about the toilets, and then I realize I have not clicked on the toilets to confirm that they are clean, but they are actually clean. That is amazing. My staff are legitimately doing their jobs. The money in is so good when you get the, uh, your challenge. You can see where the other one was as well. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait, wait hang, hang on. on, wait. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Ah, ah that's, that's good, good too. At least he's got a couple of lines for that. I got I got so very irritated from the PS1 version. Um, oh, I didn't even mention the, the ending of Professor Light. So yeah, so um, so what kind of captivates people with Professor Light in this one? These puzzles are pretty decent puzzles, I guess. Like, they come at you fast enough and they're decently well implemented. A lot of them involve drawing numbers in a, in a bit, and it, it does the thing where it's like, you want know, you know, confirm the number that you drew before you tick the button. Some of them involve drawing a circle around something, some of them involve actually drawing a shape, which gets a little terrifying. Some of those, like the matchstick ones, it's like, oh, you gotta move the matchstick and create the puzzle. Um, one issue I generally have is that some of the puzzles do require you to, uh, or at least really want you to write down some things, but then you're also required to draw a circle on screen. And they don't give you the option to really keep your drawings. So you can draw something, but the moment you take your stylus off the screen and then tap again, your drawing is gone. Um, 
I think that's something they address in the sequels. They've put in like a scratch pad kind of mode so you can draw without necessarily getting rid of anything. But uh, it's definitely one where, yeah, okay, you can feel it at times. Um, I think also the story is one of the more weaker bits. The whole point of the Professor Layton games is that they've got these kind of like outlandish stories at times. Um, this first game, I think notoriously, the twist is kind of bizarre. Um, I'll set up the premise at the beginning of the game, and then I'll kind of talk broadly about the twist, but I, I'm not really going to make like an explicit note. Because um, I think it is worth, if you haven't played the game, keeping the twist like in mind. I'm sorry, sorry, like having the twist world on you does ruin the illusion. One of your rides is about to break down. Oh, Take cover. The jaw dropper is about to drop too far. You could fix it. And Tentacle Terror is kind of not doing too high either. Um, so the whole point of the 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 or the plot of the game, just to start off, is that uh, you got Professor Layden and Luke, his apprentice. They visit uh, this curious village because uh, Professor Layden is has been called by the Baron. Um, about uh, the uh, this hunt for the golden apple. I think they know that the Baron has died, so there's that. Uh, but they know that there is a treasure Some of a golden apple uh, as an opportunity. Uh, they're not necessarily the treasure hunters, but they're just like, you know, the Baron requested Professor Layden specifically to show up. So he was like, oh, okay. Uh, the town is filled with people who are absolutely crazy about puzzles, uh, but that doesn't stop Professor Layden from also then going like, uh, later on, oh, this person died. By the way, this reminds me of a puzzle, you know, a lot. There's a, there's a lot of that, and then you have to answer a puzzle in order to continue the game. Um, it doesn't ruin the pacing too much, because, like, a lot of the major plot points you keep in memory quite a bit, so that's okay. Uh, so they end up, they walk to the, the, the... Some of the visitors are getting a little wild, oh. and your security hasn't noticed. Ooh, do I not? Sure I think I need to pop some patrol. security cameras around the park, because I'm looking at that going, yeah, that's, uh... Well, I mean, it's brown. So, let's check a security camera uh, on the right-ish, near Hades, and on the bottom left. Um, uh, so they go to the manor where the, the Baron used to live. They all convene. There's the wife uh, chilling, And she's just like, ah, oh, okay. And then uh, there's a loud noise, and her cat... Um, Please, and you're like, you gotta get the cat back. You come back, and uh, when the cat, or you, you come back with the cat, and you find out that one of the people there, part of the town, had been murdered. And he's dead on the ground, so an inspector comes in, and uh, you've basically gotta, one, clear your name a little bit, because uh, it's a bit suspicious that you left the scene all of a sudden. Um, you've gotta clear your name, uh, you've gotta, um, you know, figure out who did it. And you've also got to figure out this mystery of the golden apple in the mix. Uh, as well as also the town's a bit weird. Some people act a bit weird. Uh, one of the guys disappears and, uh, you know, you find him in a very bizarre situation later on. Uh, I think ultimately the twist in, in this one um, is fairly far-fetched for my likings. Like, it's not just, like, there's no, like, weird coincidence, really. Uh, there's, there's a little bit of a red herring in the plot. Um, where it's like, you find- you figure out something's led to- well, led into this, but, uh, I think one problem is that you're not particularly aware of the villain. He shows up once, at the very beginning, and then, like, it doesn't- or, or like, it, it shows up in a, like, a, an aside cutscene. But then it's not really clear, like, what he's actually been doing the entire time. Um, and especially when- uh, there's an actual villain, or sorry, not uh, a fake-out villain, but because you've not seen the real villain for so much, the fake-out villain legitimately feels like the actual villain, um, especially because they don't resolve him until the end of the, the game. So, there's a bit of that. Uh, the actual twist is a bit far-fetched, um, but I think the, the writing is good enough, like they justify it with all the characters, that it makes sense. So... Also, we got Devil's Disc. Oh, I've got Crypt Cards as well. What am I it's doing? It's the dawn of a new age. Don't. A new set of rides has become available to don't, research. Don't do this to me. There were more rides. There were more rides. Oh, whoops. Uh, gotta move this one over. Because <laughs> I don't have room for the, uh... For the, uh, exit. 
So Devil Desk is the same thing as the Mayan totem, I believe. Uh, let's get the Crypt Carts. Burn all my money on Cart Ride as well. All right, it. I guess I could just extend Some it all the way down here, can't I? Put a stink bomb in your park. Oh, you should get it cleaned up before people get sick. Honestly, there you go. it's worse than the entertainer. I just realized his comment. He's making. He's saying that the entertainers have the, have the smelliest poops in the entire entire game. Nice. Listen, you gotta, you can't make a, oh, really? We've got trouble, boss! I, <coughs> a ride is about to break down. I, I can't believe I, I even did that. A huge busload of visitors has pulled up. Either that, or a busload of huge visitors has arrived. Either way, the park is getting popular. I think I move it like one over. Dang it. You have a lot of thirsty visitors uh, out there. Do you blah, blah, think you should build some more drink shops? Get that there, so... Other than that, though, yeah, Professor Layden 1, worth a play. And if you don't have the... Uh, I guess all these Professor Layden games, they only ever got released on the original platform. I think maybe there's a mobile version. Uh, I'm gonna go a little simple on this one, because I already did the super long ride. There you go. New ride. And, uh, who's the guy? Who's the guy in charge over here? This guy. Uh, you are now in charge of more rides. Happy birthday. There you go. Um. Yeah, no, it's worth playing. Uh, how to exactly get the ability to play the games. You're gonna have to find for- Oh my gosh, jeez. Um, you're gonna have to figure out for yourself, unfortunately. But I'll definitely say if you've got an original DS cartridge, it runs fine. No sweat, don't worry. Um, and uh, yeah, if you if you lack a stylus, don't worry. There's no real critical drawing Even the that requires uh, the the mouse. So it's not sorry, sorry. That requires a stylus. You can do it with your mouse. It works fine. A new set of miscellaneous items has become available to research. Which I think is is you nice. The, the fact that like yeah, it's it's not completely lost out to you know. Uh, There's a litter bug running amok in the park. Sorry, it's it, it's not it's not a game that does require a drawing tablet or something else like that. Um, so yeah, another game I played. I played Harvester again. Harvester is a incredibly incredibly violent and kind of un like really unhinged in terms of just like the kind of language it uses. Uh, point and click I adventure game from 1996. Park. And, and frankly, a bad oh my gosh. You should put a stop to it before this kind of behavior spreads. I'm still amazed I'm, I'm rocking without a loan yet. I feel like I'm doing okay. Except there's more there's more rides. There's Rat Race, there's Pumpkin Parcel, there's Ghoster Coaster, and the Fire Pit. Okay. Hey! Hey! Did you see what that guy just did? Some of the visitors are misbehaving, I and have security no idea hasn't noticed. Where security is not looking. Okay, cool. None of this area. Let's just chuck a camera in the corner. Everyone loves cameras in the corner, don't they? There you go. Crime is solved. No problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, Harvester is its a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, the general plot is you wake up as Steve in 1950s... Uh, not even suburbia. It feels kind of odd that like a lot of people don't have... Houses. There's just like a lot of quaint buildings. There's a handful of houses. There's uh, a TV station, a general store, a barber shop, a, a fire station, a police really station, a post office. Like there's a bunch of buildings, uh, but there's like hunt. three, four houses, a um, a whole which is kind of odd. Uh, you walk around and you meet the townspeople, and they're all very weird, like very odd. Uh, bit unhinged there's a guy who keeps like you're you you apparently graduated from your school uh very recently and you're just about to get married to a person and you go back to your school and your principal keeps talking about getting quality time the with him think your ticket prices are oh my gosh Have you thought we're doing reason? it we're back to 70 man making money finally off the ticket price i do wonder what the calculation on the ticket price is um but yeah no the 
uh, there's that, there's a pretty creepy guy who hits on another woman, there's, uh, what else? The, the other teacher in the school, she, like, legitimately beats up the kids, and there's a cutscene where, uh, there's, like, a fire drill, or a, or a, <laughs> a gun drill, I don't know what exactly it is. Uh, and so the kids are, uh, like, know, crouched over outside in the hallway, and, and the teacher nose. walks past, Let's sit down on this uh, like, the kids, and then one of the kids looks up and goes, like, why, uh... So, something like why why do we wear seatbelts in airplanes or something like that? A ride is broken down, but a uh, is something like that. Away. And the teacher, like, uh, figuratively beats up the kid. Uh, in practice, it does like a little bit of a camera cut, and then legitimately a shot of the kid with blood coming out of the back of his head and a bruised eye, uh, and and smashed glasses. Um, what's a bit disturbing is that all of these cutscenes are digitized with real. Uh, actors. Um, I think the very original, like, teasers of Harvester, if you can find, they do use a, a drawn DOS style of graphics. Someone is going around making everyone's lives miserable. Wow. Um, so, uh, it's, it's got a bit of charm. It's also incredibly dirty, like, presentation-wise. It's very minimal, so there's nothing on screen, and you just click on your main character to open the inventory. Um, that also means that everything is just clicking on stuff, really. You click on someone to talk to them, it shows a list of dialogue options, there's a handful of, there's a box that you can type to say certain topics, but you don't need to for any of the game, I feel. It's only there for, like, real special dialogue, or if you want a sequence break a little bit. Um, what else for the rest of the game? Uh, other than that though, yeah, so, so you're in this place, you gotta figure out a way to get out of the town, because it's very weird, you've lost your memory, but you feel like you don't belong, um, there's this ominous tower in the middle called the Lodge, and, uh, what you end up doing is that you get a Lodge application, and you, and, uh, you're, in order to prove yourself to enter the Lodge, you have to keep doing increasing, find your ticket oh my gosh, it's still cheap, Perhaps you should 80 bucks bro, 80 bucks, let's go for it. Um, you have to keep doing increasingly, like, meaner and meaner pranks on people in order to, to get into the lodge. Um, let's see if people think 80 bucks is too much. That, that kid walked straight in. A number of them are walking in. Apparently 80 bucks is fine for this park. I'm making money, Yang, because 80 bucks is fine. 80 bucks is a lot. Will I get 350 people in the park, though? I don't know. Probably not, they're kind of leaving a bit too fast. Also, there's a lot of people still standing there. No one's saying no. It could just be logistics letting them in, but that is... That is a fair bit of people coming... Oh, there, there's the police guy. With a guy. He's coming out. Congratulations. You've won a golden and I got the and ticket. You've got another golden key. Well, there you go. I'm happy. I'm a happy chappy right there. <laughs> I'm glad we saw the security guy, like, throwing someone out. Eureka! Oh, good we thing I got rat race. Rats, rats, we are the rats. I just realized I probably need to buy some more land if I really want to, like, Eureka! make this park, like, even larger. Well, I mean, I know that sounds painfully obvious, but you know what I mean? It's like... At this point, it's like, yeah, I'm probably gonna... There you go, are you happy? It's a German 985 reference. <laughs> Kinda overdue for one, I, I don't know. Uh, well that's cool that I got 350 people in the park somehow. Maybe that was 350 new visitors in six months as it described. There are parts of the park that don't have uh, controlling them. So yeah, so the, the plot of Harvest is kinda okay. It makes a, a like a very point at the camera fourth wall uh it doesn't break the fourth wall but it's clearly aimed at making a statement at the player on basically like how desensitized to violence can you get and uh one thing that's a bit interesting is that the game's in split into two halves basically all the stuff you do before you get into the lodge and then the stuff you do after you get into the lodge uh which is a bit shorter but is oddly a very different game because your increasingly mean pranks do end up in the deaths of some characters of the game. 
but you also have the ability to freely swing a weapon and kill people. And everyone who dies explodes. Not like cartoon explosion, they will literally erupt into some unique amalgamation of guts. It's incredibly, like, you know, like, I guess gross. I'm not gonna say like I'm, I'm offended by it, but it's definitely like, it's so like, unex unexpected, I guess. It's so, it is so violent, I guess, intentionally. Like it's just, I don't know how to describe it, but it's legitimately one of the most violent games I've played because it is just, uh, you know, like what, what's the, what's the basis for this guy blowing up? And what's the basis for there being all this weird detail on it? Um, and every character, you know, they blow up in very weird- Wow, there's so many people coming to the park, what is going on? Well, I will permanently stay afloat now because I get to raise the ticket prices a fair bit, whereas in the last park I have no idea why. They just never wanted- they never wanted me to raise the price. So, legit, legit, because now I've got the ticket price to a decent amount. It's like, oh, I can actually afford, like, things. Are there new upgrades? Oh, he's spending all this time working on the Crypt Cart's jump. Why don't I spend the time researching the actual Crypt Cart's? Instead of, like, the one little bit that goes on it. Because um, otherwise, then there's nothing going to happen for, like, four months. Um, so, yeah, so so you got the two parts before the, the, the you enter the lodge. Um, which is pretty much a, a straight, like, point-and-click kind of game. You gotta solve a puzzle by resolved. figuring out that this guy has a what? thing over here, but Even he's only gonna give you the thing if you features. do this certain thing. Um, it's not, like, crazy cryptic. There's, there's a definitely, I'm like... Cleaners patrolling some areas of your park. Is that, oh my gosh, the demon statue. Let's check the fireworks show. Right in the middle of here. Does this legitimately launch fireworks up in the... Oh, there you go! Look at that. That's cool. It's just gonna keep going, it never stops. The staff are happy, and if you keep them that way, they won't go and strike. I guess they are happy, wow. Okay. Speaking of happy, I'm not happy that that ride's breaking. Or well, this ride's not gonna live. Yeah, okay. Um... Uh, but yeah, it's pretty standard point-and-click adventure game stuff. Uh, one thing I have as a bit of an issue is that, uh... There's a shovel you can find right at the beginning of the game, and quite a number of the puzzles are solved by the shovel, whether it involves digging something up, or breaking something, or using the shovel as a weapon, that seems to come up quite a number of times. Also, um, I actually, I appreciate that the game, uh, its story takes place across several days, and then it goes to, like, nighttime in the days. Um, it's just a hard, like, things change, basically, and it only progresses to the next time of day if you've acquired everything you, that you really need and you can't get later on. Um, so it's it's structured pretty alright, but definitely like there is so much time in that very very first day and then you start breezing through the rest so it's like, oh okay, like things kind of speed up pretty quick. Um, then you got the part in the, in the lodge which becomes uh, almost survival horror. Uh, you, you move between fairly new areas, like, every area is completely new, um, and there's just monsters, there's weird demons, there's weird monsters, and you've just gotta shoot the heck out of them. You pick up a shotgun early on, um, there's a nail gun that you can get, uh, there's, um, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a pistol that you could technically get in the, like, the first half of the game, but there's only one thing you gotta shoot, and that's a weird rat in a crypt. It's the only thing, so... Uh, another drink shop. That's the first time that they've actually mentioned the... Building a second drink shop, but it's something that you kind of have to do, so... And I don't have a good spot for. We'll chuck it here. Ah, that's good too! Uh... But yeah, the... Um... Yeah, the combat's kind of jank. You have to hold down control, and then you hit either up, left, or down to swing up, left, or down, except nothing ever needs you to do that. Also, you're using a gun half the time, and I just find that it doesn't work right. Like, it doesn't... Uh, oh, I've got the chopper. i got to put the chopper in. <laughs> you have to put the chopper in. 
just murders people. That's all it does. Also, wow, that's all the features. Are there any other features lingering? No, that's it. Cool, okay. Well, I'm gonna build the pumpkin castle soon and... You don't have enough mechanics to maintain all of the rides. Maybe you should hire some more. All right, Alex Dodeswell really wants me to jump in. So let's uh, let's get him to handle this bunch of rides right here, which might be a lot, but <laughs> I don't know how to divide the the rides evenly between all of them. Uh, which year is this game from? Hello, uh, this game is from 1999. Your scientists have come up with a new ride. It's pretty, it's pretty not like, not bad looking for 1999. I think the one thing that really hurts is, uh... The gauntlet's been thrown down. You have a new challenge. Check research and build... A ride of Crip Carts. Have you seen how many costumes... Using at least 20 seconds? 20 sections? Hold on, excuse me? Excuse me? Like, hold on, wait. So, I'm gonna- I'm gonna just 100% like, save and confirm this, because I really want to figure this out. Let's just call it really challenged. So, okay, so, accept the- the thing. Well done. You met the challenge, so you take home oh. the prize. Cripcart's jump. Okay, so now- now he's challenged me twice. Yeah, like, what? I got the- I got the challenge immediately. That's very bizarre. But I also have this still open, which makes it look like it's still going. Okay. Um, but I don't have the jump, so maybe I should go back and research the jump. Oops. Oh, oh no, I hit. Some little horror has put a stink bomb in your part. Hold on, quick. We can load the game. We can, we can recover it. Well done. You met the challenge, so you take home the prize. Okay. I, I don't know what's going on there, but sure, okay. Alright, so I'll leave that just chilling there, and then I'll just click it at some point, and it's like, oh, I got the jump. Cool. Uh, but yeah, no, the second half is also kind of weird, because there's a number of characters who are played by the same actors as people from the first half of the game, uh, but not actually the same characters. Uh, also, I thought it was like, there's very- and there's so many characters that aren't the same characters from the first half of the game. So it's just they got some weird actor to just do this one specific part. Uh, one of them, incredibly notorious, is the chess master. He's a guy, he just challenges you to a game of chess. Can you checkmate him in like four moves? Sure. If you can, then some axe just flies at his face and he immediately dies and his head explodes and it's probably one of the goriest open heads I've seen in a DOS game. People uh, are thirsty and they can't find anything to drink. Okay, I've got Think two drink stores. Drink no, shops. that's on you. Also, wow. <laughs> wow, that's a stanky toilet. That, that is dead. <laughs> there is no toilet, toilet left. <clears throat> there is no toilet there left. The park that don't have a cleaner patrolling them. I think we're, we're due for a cleaner. Come around this side of the, the park. Uh, let's, uh, let's go this. Wow. There you go. Yeah, I don't think any of that area has anyone on it. You've won a golden ticket. Oh my gosh, again? Congratulations. Oh, 15,000 profit the year! Wow. I'm actually, like, I'm nailing this park, I swear. Because that's, what, ticket number six? Jeez. Alas, I'm still probably a bit away from researching Ghosta Coaster. Uh, the challenge disappeared, so yeah. I, I, I don't think I was going to be able to research the jump in time, but... Well, I'm at least glad that you can just build a riot or build the coaster with sections rather than... Have it no toilet sounds real cut. The only thing is that you can't, like, kill everyone in your park in this game. You have to kind of... Everything's pretty stock standard. These rides, while pretty cool, you know, you put them down and it's like, yeah, that's kind of it. That, that is your park. Everyone's park is probably going to look pretty similar, but I think it's pretty neat. All the mechanics come together pretty neatly, so. Well, you know, Harvester, uh, it's, it's an interesting game. It's a curious one, and it's one where, like, I think the, uh, the meta narrative of video game violence and how it you know, invades the, the public, and, uh, is it safe for kids? I think it makes enough comments on it that, like, it's not just glorifying it and not condemning it. It's just kind of 
somewhere in between. But also has some of the <laughs> goriest depictions of things I've ever seen. Um, but definitely a curious one. I think I'd, I'd, I'd give it a good recommendation on the sales, because it goes for like two bucks. There's a litter bug running amok in the park. You should get a cleaner on the case. And He's already the on the case. He's He is on that case. Oh no, the Frankenstein's tired. Darn, sleepy Frankenstein. Where will he sleep? Probably one of two staff rooms. Some little horror has put a stink bomb in your park. He put the stink oh, bomb right at the drinks. This person was the... He's put two of them. Wow. He's going, he's going hard. He's going ham at it. I love how the scrap value, by the way, continues to go down over time. Like, it's like a hundred bucks to put down the toilet. And then you can scrap it for like 75. And I'm pretty sure like some of these are now 15. Like, they're just so old. Did you see what that guy just did? Some of the visitors are misbehaving, and security hasn't noticed. You should make sure that guards are patrolling the whole park, or maybe build some security cameras. I feel very confident in my park staff. I think Look they're out. just... Oops. Look out! She's gonna blow! Listen, it's you not a day, it's not a second down. without Flightmare Tours crashing. Or sorry, Creepy Clown Blimp's gone. You've got some visitors performing pranks in your park. There you go, tarantula, tarantula, fixing it. Put a stop to it before this yeah. Kind of behavior spreads. So, what's the plan for the next week up ahead? Uh, more of the same. We're figuring out more games. Uh, I've really wanted to play um the Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver. It's another 1999. Wow, wow! So many people are disgusted, and so many people are upset about the park. Hold on, wait. 76. Please come in. Please come in. Someone went in. Someone went in at 76. Okay. They'll accept 76. You some security cameras, your guards would be more efficient. What do you mean? There's cameras everywhere. There are cameras everywhere. There's no camera on the right, is there? They're not happy about that. Well, let's build the pumpkin castle. I can speak. The pumpkin castle. Just before I hit the end of uh, the time for the stream, because I know I said I'd end around June or July 20. Some so there you go, the pumpkin park. castle. So cleaner over there to clean and then up let's. Uh, oh, it's it's hot pot again. It's just the same ride as before. All right, and then let's get a security camera. Chuck it over on the right here, just center right. There you go. I swear this one will be close enough, but sure. There you go. Lots of stuff, so I think the only one I don't have is the fire pit, which and ooze cruise. There's another right. There are more rides. Are you kidding me? There's more of them. That's amazing. That's amazing that there's so many rides in this game. How does that even like happen? A new set of rides has become available to research. You should have your scientists look into them. What is this ride? Like really? Hold on. What the heck? But yeah, so there's Phantom and Scatty Batty. That is 12,500, so 100%. That is another roller coaster. That's kind of neat that, like, it keeps going on, like, for so. for some undescript long time. What is the fire pit? Some of the visitors are getting a little wild, and your security hasn't noticed. Make sure your guards are patrolling the whole park or build some security cameras. These people are hungry around this half of the park. I'm gonna put another burger shop right here. Or put the fry shop. It's good to have another fry shop. <laughs> Great placement for a fry shop. How to get people to get on your ride. You have a lot of thirsty visitors out there. Do you think you should build some more drink shops? I'll put another drink shop. Sure, okay. And then, uh, give me the litter bin right here. Someone legit put a stink bomb right there. So what is this ride? Oh. They go, oh, ah, oh, they're all dead. They are all dead. They are all dead. There is no way you're living. That is insane. We have cooked the kids. We have legitimately killed the kids. And is there more people coming in? Wow. You should put a stop to it. So many people coming in. Spreads. So many people in the park. That's amazing. 
There's a litter bug running right. in the park. Well, I'll save it there. Uh, so Blendo stream yet again. Get a uh, case but and clean up I'd say that's a pretty successful one. There's a pretty pretty nifty park. Six People golden tickets. And there aren't enough food shops. Everyone's starving apparently. Somewhere. Everyone's unhappy. This toilet is entirely filthy. Tell someone to fix it. This toilet's pretty bad. I'm also gonna tell someone to fix it. <laughs> pretty gnarly. Pretty gnarly these two. That's amazing. Um, yeah, no. I hope you all enjoyed uh, this park and the various discussions that were had. But uh, with that, I would like to thank you all so very much for watching. So yeah, if you did enjoy this um, and you only saw a bit of it, you can watch the full VOD on YouTube at some point in the next 24 hours. And other than that, you can also watch the full VOD on Twitch. So that's that. Uh, you can subscribe to the YouTube. You don't have to, but you can if you want. Um, and uh, yeah, see you around, Mr. Lord Blub. Have a good one. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I just want to like say as well, like just if you are watching on YouTube, real big thanks for just like, I mean, I know like the view count's only like 30 on like some of these videos, uh, but it's, it kind of means something to me to like upload the VOD and then like there's 30 views on it like after a week. And there's also like 20 people who watch the, the Twitch VOD and I'm just like, that's crazy that so many people watch it so soon. So I really appreciate it. I thank you all very much and I thank you very much in particular because you stuck around to the very end, which uh, I wish I had something more for you other than telling you to eat your greens, but I seem to do that every week. So you're going to have to accept it. Anyway, have a good week because it is a good week. I don't know, something like that. All right, see ya.